Hello there, today we're going to be looking at all of the rares, their locations and drops inside the zone of Desolus. I'm finally back after many many months, uh, the reason being that basically I just got really burned out with WoW, so it's really good to be back, I'm excited to start videos again, and without further ado, let's crack on with it. Prince Kellen So right off the bat I will kind of apologise to come back on such a crappy zone as a video, um, yeah it, it kind of sucks, Deathless is a really sucky zone for rares, but you know I'm doing it in ascending order from level so eh, it kind of has to be next. You'll find Prince Kellen, he is the lowest level rare in Deathless, he is level 33 and you can find him in Sargeron, he's kind of in the, near the south temple, I don't believe he spawns in any other points either. Unfortunately, just killing this guy will give you a random green appropriate for the level, and there's nothing more to him than that. Giggler Next up we have Giggler who is just directly east of Thunder Axe Fortress. Giggler is kind of a reference to Lion King, well one of the hyenas in Lion King that can't stop laughing. And the important thing to note is Giggler is actually the strongest rare in this zone, which is really weird considering he's only level 35. The reason being he actually has uh, about 3,500 health, so double the health of most of the other rares in the zone. And as a result, actually, it can be a little bit dangerous fighting him at the level, even though he isn't listed as an elite, he is definitely way, way stronger. Um, so yeah, his respawn time, I think it's about 12 to 16 hours, although um, it could vary a little bit from that. This path is quite well traveled as it's the way, uh, the main way into the zone as well, so expect him to kind of be dead most of the time. But killing him will only give you a green between level 26 to 29, I believe. So yeah, there's that. Hisperak. Up next we have Hisperak, a level 37 basilisk that is just to the north of Ghostwalker Post. This is the easiest way to find this guy as well, just basically follow, well, wait, look for the rope bridges and then he's just to the north of that. He's really easy to spot anyway because he's a really dark coloured basilisk, he doesn't look anything like the other ones in the area. One thing to note about this guy is he has crap tons of armor, as do all the basilisks in Vanilla WoW, so you have a really hard time if you deal physical damage. Casters, you won't have a problem whatsoever. Killing this guy will give you a random green between, I think, level 31 to 35, so not really that great. Accursed Slitherblade Up next we have the Accursed Slitherblade, just to the north of Ethel Rathor, otherwise known as that great big stonking lighthouse that sits in Desolus that nobody really seems to know what's for. Um, I'm just showing here how to quickly find this guy, he's really hidden away actually, he's like so out of the way, he's not really near anything, um, which is just really bizarre, but nevertheless, if you just follow down this path here and then jump into the water, you'll see him. He stands out because he's green coloured and he's normally surrounded by kind of purple naga. Uh, there's nothing really special about this guy at all, um, he doesn't really seem to do much of anything. That being said, I did kind of kill him really quick, so he may actually have some attacks that I'm just not aware of. Um, but yeah, there's really nothing to this guy. Just be aware though, he is about 5 levels higher than the things around him. So if you accidentally pull him while you're fighting some of the others, you may be in for a little bit of a bad time if you're only around 33, 34 for this area. Killing him though will again just give you a random green around about his level. Cask. Up 
Up next we have Kask, or I think that's how you pronounce his name, to the far south of Manorok Coven. If you are looking to kill this guy, my best advice would be actually go all the way round the bottom of Manorok Coven, there's really no point in going through it. Um, I can't really tell you too much about this guy actually because I killed him really really quick and then I didn't actually see him since so I'm not sure what his respawn time is like but yeah I basically don't actually know if he has abilities or not. Killing him though will just give you a random green. Cursed Centaur So, last but not least, we have the Cursed Centaur. Seems to be a lot of cursed people in Desolus. I'm not really sure why they hang out in this zone, probably because it looks so awful. But yeah, the Cursed Centaur, he is on the entrance to Moradon. If you've played since Wrath of the Lich King and not before, then you probably won't be familiar with the fact that a lot of these dungeons had really long entrances, especially in vanilla. So the Cursed Centaur is right on the entrance to, uh, as you come into Moradon through the main gate. As a result, it actually means he's killed a lot of the time because it used to be that players would always ha you always have to run this way to get into Moradon, so you always go past him and people go, oh look, a rare, let's kill it. And normally you're with a party of five, so yeah, normally this guy is always dead. However, you're not really missing much. He, he actually kind of hits hard. I know I don't have any defense here, but he does actually hit fairly hard. I remember him hitting decently hard when I had my Warlock. Um, yeah, but killing him won't actually really give you anything either. You will again just get a random green appropriate to your level, so all in all, pretty disappointing. As is always the case now, here is an image of all the rares in Desolus mapped out on one image for you. I'll also include an image link in the description so you can hunt them yourself. So that brings to a close Desolus and its 6 rares, their locations and drops. Overall Desolus is a pretty crappy zone but nevertheless it was on the list to tick off. Thanks so much for bearing with me the past couple of months, I know I've had a, a real hiatus but um, I've had some lovely emails and comments from people as well so I'm supporting uh, the, kind of the whole endeavour so I'm definitely finishing off the zone rares and uh, we'll see what I move on to next. Definitely World of Warcraft related, I'm very excited for Classic and hopefully you are too. I'll see you next time.